Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to upload files to a Google Drive straight from Python. And this is great if you want to create some sort of a report management system where users may have to upload a photo, for example, and you need some sort of a cloud storage. And this is completely free and you're just limited by the space of your drive storage. You can actually upload up to 5 terabytes of data per request to the Drive API, which is more than enough for most users anyways. So to get things started, we have to create our service accounts credentials. You can search this up on Google and go ahead and just uh, click on this link. I'll include a link in the description. And once you go here, you just have to scroll down and go to service accounts. Click this here. And you should be forwarded to the page where you have to click your projects. Then just go ahead and create a service account and just type in your name. Or your service account name, I mean. So you're just going to create this, for example. And just put in the description that you watch to. So just click create and continue. Uh, it's optional, so we're just going to continue. And there you go. And the next thing that you have to do is go on here and manage keys. And just click on add key and create new key. Uh, make sure to click on uh, JSON, JavaScript object notation format, which is very important so we can actually uh, link it with our Python file data. And it should be saved to the computer. So make sure you store it securely and make sure you don't leak it. Uh, for the sake of this video, I might be showing a bit of details, but I'll be deleting it afterwards anyways. And after you're done here, you just go into Google Drive and create a folder where you're going to upload your files to. So in this case, I'm just going to name it uh, Test Folder. And then we're going to share it. I'll explain why soon. If you go on to the account here, just click back, and you have this email address here, which is not technically email, it's here, basically your service account address. You just click that, and you just add it here. And make sure to give editor access so we can actually upload it. So what we're doing it here is, technically, we are not actually uploading straight from uh, to our Google Drive, because from this service account, it's actually separate from our Google Drive. So what we do is sharing a folder to this address and actually uploading to that folder directly using the shared access permissions. And before we actually go to the code, one last thing that we have to do is actually enable the Drive API itself. So we'll just go onto the search bar here and just search Drive and you should be able to see Google Drive API. I'll just click that and you should be redirected to this page. And I've already enabled it, so if you haven't, just click Enable API so our code will actually work. Okay, so now that we're done setting our service account credentials and our Google Drive account, let's go ahead and, and uh, type in our code. So the three main important files are going to be our Python code, our JSON file that we downloaded earlier. Just go ahead and rename it to service account just for convenience sake. And also your picture or the file you're going to upload in. So in this case, it's going to be thumbnail.jpg that we're going to include in the same directory here. Okay, so just need to go ahead and install this uh, package if you haven't done so. Just run it in your IDE and just uh, include these two uh, imports here. Afterwards, you just need three of these constants. So we can include our code just for convenience. The first one is basically linking to our Google Drive API. Service account file will be linked to your JSON file that we downloaded. And this will include all the credentials for verification. And this is where we're going to set up our parent folder ID, which is basically the folder that we're going to upload our files to. If you go back to our Google Drive and we create our test folder here, if you double click it, you notice this uh, string of characters after the folders. Just have to go ahead and copy that, which is basically our ID. Let's just include it here. Uh, and after we've done so, it's going to create our authenticate function. It's going to return our credentials uh, so they can actually upload our photos. So let's just run service account or credentials from service account file and include our service account file, which is the JSON file, and scopes will be constant that we added there. So let's just go ahead and return our credentials. Okay, after we're done with that, let's go ahead and create our upload function. And argument here will be our file path. So let's go ahead and uh, return our authentication credentials using the function that we created earlier. And let's create our service object using the build uh, function that we imported from the Google API. First one will be our drive, second will be our version, and the third will be our credentials. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and set up our false metadata here. And it will be stored as a dictionary. So the first one will be our name. Let's just put it as hello for our simplicity case. And the next one will be parents. And this is where we're going to upload our file to, the folder, basically. So, put parent folder ID. And finally, just create service files create body big uh, file metadata that we created earlier media body which will be our file path and that's sorry that's about it and after we're done with that it's gonna execute and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and test it out by running our upload photo. And to explain what file path exactly is, remember we put our thumbnail for a picture here, which is the same directory. So we can just go ahead and put it as thumbnail.jpg. And if it's in another folder, you have to put it in like in a folder and slash based on where you actually put it. So if it's the same directory, you don't have to add any of that. You just put the name of it, and that will be acting as the file path. So let's just go ahead and uh, run it. Okay, no errors, so let's go ahead and check our Google Drive. Okay, we have one file here. And yeah, it's our picture. And maybe let's try change our name. Uh, let's call it Frog. Let's uh, run it again. Okay, as you can see, it does work. And you notice that, if you notice this uh, shared collaboration thing, um, it's basically because it's owned by this account, which is the service account that we created, and it's actually shared with us. So basically, it's like we're co it's collaborating with our main Google Drive account, but it's not directly linked to our Google Drive account, which is an important uh, detail to take note of. And yep, so that's pretty much it on how to actually upload files from Python. It's pretty simple and you can use it to create your own uh, cloud storage system, all completely for free. So yeah, thanks for watching.